Weekend 2 was one of the craziest years of my life. I know it's pretty cliche to say that, but on social media I showcase all the cool and unique adventures I go on, but while I live for these, what I don't showcase is the hours on end that go into the behind the scenes, from planning the trip, to funding the trip, all the way to putting the content together. This year was one of the most anxiety-filled years of my life, constantly thinking about my future, but continuing to pursue what I love to do proved to be all worth it. This video kind of serves as a record of my life. So here is my year 2022. This year, I had the opportunity to visit a few different countries. Outside of the beautiful landscapes, I found so much joy in learning different cultures and meeting people from different walks of life. I started this trip with a visit to Spain and Paris. Visiting Spain, we stayed about 20 minutes from the southern tip. Morocco, which is the very northern tip of Africa, was only about an hour ferry right away. So of course, we had to get our foot in the door. Going into this experience, I really didn't know what to expect, but we were quickly greeted by vibrant architecture unlike anything I'd seen before. And in addition to this architecture, the atmosphere there was just as vibrant, with kids running around screaming in the Medina, and the smell of fresh bread that all added to this experience. Next up, my friends and I decided to impulsively buy tickets to Tulum, Mexico. This place that we call home has so many different beautiful landscapes and experiences to offer. Um, this past year, I constantly found myself wishing I could see all the foreign landscapes and that I could go abroad. I was completely convinced that every other country had cooler and better experiences than we have to offer here. But there's so much beauty right under our noses that we just have to go find. To be honest, this past summer, I met up with a few friends from different areas of the US in LA. And being from San Diego, I saw LA as this congested and dirty big city, but they spoke of it as a dream come true and nothing that they'd ever experienced. And this helped me to appreciate the place that I call home. So, here are some of the more local things I did throughout the year. <laughs> Recently, social media has created this trend where people only showcase the big and grand moments of their life. And to be totally honest, oftentimes I'm a big part of that trend. 
I showcase all the cool things that I do on social media, but it's truly the small moments that you may not always remember that bring my year all together. Like I mentioned before, this video serves as a record of my life to help me remember these small moments. So here's a collection of clips that I probably wouldn't use in a normal video, but it doesn't make them any less special. Um, Montes, Montes. Montes. <laughs> nah, bruh. I ain't about it. That's what they do. <laughs> Oh, he's kind of scary. <laughs> 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 oh, my fucking Jesus.